Using a foam paint roller, paint a saturation coat of epoxy over the entire outside of the boat. Get the kind with a thin eighth of an inch foam surface. After you have rolled a layer of epoxy out, come back and brush the surface with a dry foam brush. This will smooth the surface and break any air bubbles that have been produced by the foam roller. Make sure the air temperature is stable or falling during this curing time. Rising temperatures can cause the wood to off-gas, which will create many tiny air bubbles in the epoxy. Let the saturation coat cure. Make sure that it is hardened enough to be non-tacky. You want the cloth to slide easily on the surface of the boat. Do not bother to try and fill all the little drill holes along the seams. When you glass the hull, resin will run out of the cloth and fill these holes. You'll fill the ones that need it later when you do the inside of the hull. Lightly sand any drips or air bubbles that may have occurred in the saturation coat. Spread a layer of 38 inch wide 6 ounce glass cloth over the entire hull. Align it so that it hangs an inch over the shear on one side and smooth it out over the bottom. On the bow of the boat, the cloth will conform to the shape of the hull by smoothing it with your hands. The angle of the stern is too steep to allow the cloth to lay down without bunching. You need to cut the cloth at the stern, removing excess cloth. This is done with three cuts resulting in two flaps each overlapping the stern stem by two inches. Lift up the middle of the cloth at the stern so that a crease runs down the keel. Then cut the crease from the end back to where the cloth touches the keel. Fold one side of the cloth out of the way. Then fold the other side over the stern stem of the boat. Trim the cloth so that it wraps two inches around the end. Do the same for the other side. There'll be a small bald spot where the cut line touches the keel. It'll be covered up later when you tape the keel line. Trim all the cloth so that it drapes one inch beyond the shear. Smooth the cloth out over the whole hull. Mix up six ounces of epoxy. Mix it thoroughly and pour it into a paint tray. Now roll out a layer of epoxy over the cloth. Start at the center of your hull. Work the epoxy from just beyond the keel line down to the shear. Once your first six ounces has been applied to the boat, move the roller over the surface to fully wet out the cloth and adhere it to the hull. Now squeegee the excess resin into a cup. Work in lines from just beyond the keel line down to the shear edge. Don't try and use this squeegeed epoxy again. It will be foamy and filled with air bubbles. Mix up some more epoxy and continue, squeegeeing after each batch. Wrap the two inch overlaps around the stern. Saturate one layer in one direction first then saturate and overlap in the opposite direction. Again, squeegee out all the excess resin. Squeegeeing the surface will make the cloth lay flat and smooth against the boat and force resin through the cloth to wet it out more fully. The cloth should turn completely clear. If you notice any milkiness in the epoxy as you are applying it, stop and change rollers. If the epoxy in your paint tray begins to set up, discard it. Let your epoxy harden for three or four hours until stiff, but still green. Take a razor knife and trim the cloth at the shear. If the epoxy is stiff but not hard, it will cut easily.